ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lands, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we have here everything you need to know for the upcoming Bullet of Bullets or the Bullet of Bullets number two. Now, before we get started, I do want to say that coming soon has been there ever since the guild thing has launched, and uh, if y'all hear anything, let me know, because I'm curious, uh, and I'm a little salty about that. Now, here we go, the second Bullet of Bullets collect what is a new currency to get the limited weapon now let's go ahead and click on it and see what we have here so as we all know in the bullet of bullets you basically uh need to fight against another player against another mob to, or against the same mob excuse me in order to see who deals the most damage if you do the most damage you win and you get a crown you get x amount of crowns your rank progresses upwards your goal is to get rank 100 now depending on whatever uh they say that will de determine excuse me where you start out at whether you start out at rank 30 or rank 60 or you know even rank one just depending on whatever they uh choose now, it does say in the second PvP event in Bullet of Bullets, there are various improvements based on feedbacks from our users. Now, it says the balance between ranks and required crowns are reviewed and fixed. There are improvements on the hate system. There are improvements on the parry. And there is a new fixed chat phrases. There are upgraded rewards. And there is a targeted player sign. Now, let's go ahead and just run through each of these. So, the balance between ranks and required crowns are reviewed and fixed. You won't be, you know, rank 90-something going against somebody who's rank 30-something. That's obviously a huge scale of power, a huge scale of difference. Uh, and just quite frankly, it's just going to make it, you know, not fun for either one of you. One, whether you may want the challenge to getting to rank 100 and then bam you're done or if you're on the flip side why would i want to go against somebody who's got way better gear than me or who's you know definitely a veteran that is just going to tear it up and i'm not going to be able to do anything about that so they did review and fix that now the next one is the improvements on the hate system at the boss battle stage who will be targeted by the boss first will be chosen based on the previous battle at least we have clarity you know, there are many changes that we have thought of that could have just been completely better, but at least they give us clarity and said, hey, depending on who comes out with the most damage in the first room, will determine who gets the aggro starting off the game. So that first room is going to be extremely important. My only question is, is what happens if we tie? Because I have had multiple situations where we get the exact same score. Who gets it next? That's the biggest concern that I have with that one. And the next one is improvements on parry. Detection for parry and a network delay is improved. Whether it be the servers, whether it be the connectivity issues, whatever the case may be, they say they have improved it. So hopefully parrying should be a little bit easier, smoother, and cleaner. Now they have new fixed chat phrases, basically you know the little preset messages while you're in game they changed it up i don't know whether it can be more bm or less bm we'll just have to wait and see on that one then we have upgraded rewards the amount of rewards you get at the end of the battle will be increased also you can get or you get to obtain medallions with a fixed probability when you win a battle the amount of bob rank bonuses will be increased as well now it could be the medallions for the characters that are out right now like the os yuki uh that we are uh currently trying to uh do the ranking events for but i'm not too sure what medallions they are talking about now it says the last one is going to be a target or a player who is targeted by a boss will be displayed with a yellow circle please note that we are aware that the sign sometimes is off the player under certain conditions the error will be fixed by the next pvp event day so there we go with those improvements now uh we do uh we are going to have the open during the periods below in utc so there will be certain days where we'll be able to play it uh typically the weekends are going to be great for you know you get on there play bam but 
throughout the week, they sprinkle in certain times where we are allowed to play. Now, going uh, into the big one. Let me go ahead and scroll down to here. Uh, did I pass it? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted to look at. So with the BLB, I told you that we did have to get consecutive uh, wins and we do have to get crowns. I did mention that earlier. Now, it says when you collect a certain amount of crowns, like I said, you will be able to go up to the next rank. So right here we see rank 70. You need two crowns. Fill out those two crowns. You're up to 71. It says if you win two consecutive games, you get extra crowns as a consecutive victory bonus. While on a winning streak, a bonus will be added every victory. Now, they told us that same thing before. We don't know if it's going to happen. Hopefully it does so it can make that grind a little bit easier, especially if you are destroying the B.O.B. You should be, you know, rewarded for that instead of having to just play through just like every other person. Because, you know, you sh there, there should be, you know, if, winning, if you're winning, you should be getting your crowns. If you ain't winning, you should be losing. You shouldn't be gaining anything. It says... Right here it says, uh, in the first BOB, when your rank is 41 or more, you'd lose crowns if you lost the battle. However, we reviewed and changed the conditions not to lose crowns. Also, the required crowns are reduced up to rank 30. The consecutive victory bonuses up to rank 30 are also increased. The details are as followed. So, this in and of itself is fan fantastic okay so basically this is saying if you lose we will never strip away a crown from you if you win by golly you gonna get your crowns but you can never get your crowns taken away you're at 99 and you need one more win two more wins but if you lose guess what you still only need one or two more wins so that is always good your rank will never go down so let's say you have zero crowns and your rank 99 you lose typically you would go back down to 98 this time around, you will not be taken down. So that is very good. I know a lot of people who kind of just hit that 80 mark or hit that 81 mark just to get the biggest and best rewards and then called it quits. Why would I want to put myself through that uh, hellish experience just to get a little bit extra or to get a title? No, no, no. This time they're making it easier for us. So that is really good. Then, uh, I remember last time, I think if you were traveling 51 to 80, you needed three crowns to go forward. This time around, you'll need two crowns to go to the next rank. And then 81 to 100, you'll only need three crowns instead of four. So they are making the grind a little bit easier, and they're making it to where it's not impossible and a legitimate chore. That is going to be very, very good for us. Now... The last thing that we're going to touch up on is going to be the new currency that I talked about, the Sword Fragment. Now, as you can see here, the Sword Fragment is going to be like our Memory Fragment, except this is going to be for weapons. So, I'm kind of split down the middle. I do appreciate them kind of uh, saying, hey, the Sword Fragments are going to be for the weapons, the Memory Fragments are going to be for the armors, and we're going to keep it that way. The one thing I don't appreciate is the, I guess, limitation, quote unquote, that they may put on the sword fragments because we've already seen that memory fragments are already kind of pretty difficult to come between, uh, to find just for the sheer fact that, hey, we only get them on certain events. We don't really get them often. So it's kind of hard to get those rank five armors. And on top of that, with these sword fragments, it's probably going to push us even harder into hey do you want sword fragments for this uh ranking event specific character hey well guess what now you're gonna have the whale for these characters if you want this uh weapon to go with that character so basically it's saying hey if you whale on the ranking events uh, and you get first place and first place on both of them you'll get a five star unit for free that's level 100 and you'll more than likely get a weapon to go with them that's if you get first and first that's how I would assume they're going to use the sword fragments. Otherwise, I don't really understand why you would just do it for the B.O.B. Unless you're going to be putting out B.O.B. every single month and just give us a free weapon. If they gave us a free weapon, yo, I'm down. That's a fantastic, that's a, that's a great idea. Give us that free R4 weapon. I'm cool with that. But there are a lot of things that, uh, you know tie into that. How often will we get the sword fragments? How often will, uh, 
when will we be able to get it? What um what events will be able will we be able to get them off of? Excuse me, English is difficult. Now, as far as her sword is concerned, it's not too shabby. 1505 attack, 1121 crit, and then the battle skill is going to be attack 10% to Yuki only, and then required MP minus 10% for dark elements. So at the very least, let's say, you know, you got a Kirito dark unit and he needs a sword. Well, he won't get that attack percentage, but at the very least, he will have a minus 10% MP reduction weapon. So at, you know pick your poison you know it it's it just all depends on how they release the sword fragments so right here it says you can uh you can earn a title and with the title you can get attack and mp recovery up in the next pvp event it says you can earn each title on rank 40 80 and 100 so now that they've made it easier they have also given us incentive to run all the way up to rank 100 then uh let's see uh, here are here. Here's what the the weapon looks like, and then it is going to be for the OS Yuki. Last but not least, if you haven't already, it's going to be uh, you, you're a little late and you, you're kind of out of luck. Uh, the coat of Barrios, which uh, we could have farmed uh, up to three R4 of these uh, excuse me coats, will give us 10% uh, damage increase in the second PVP Bullet of Bullets event. That would be very good for us. Then the previous event title, if you got uh, legend player, top player, high player, uh, it will give us attack and MP recovery rate up in this event as well. So there's a lot of stuff as far as the changes that they've brought to us, the uh, new currency in the sword fragment, and just kind of overall, they listen. That's the one thing that I'm the, the happiest about. They heard that we were complaining about a lot of different things, and they say they've changed it, so now we can only wait until the event comes out, try it out, play it out, and really see if they did it to a better uh, tier or class compared to what the first one was, which, honestly, if they just did what they say they did here, it'll definitely be better. So, guys, good luck out there in Bullet of Bullets. I hope every one of you uh, have the patience, because that's what it's going to take, the patience to grind up to rank 100 guys good luck uh if you like the video be sure to like share comment and subscribe to the channel as you know as it would help me out a lot and i greatly appreciate it i know this is a little bit on the longer side so i'm gonna cut it here thank y'all so much for watching y'all know the spiel check out the description box for my twitch twitter uh patreon facebook instagram social media discord server all that good stuff guys thank y'all so much for watching and as y'all know that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells of ringing. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.